Please let me be able to take medicine this time. Well, the room looks normal at least. Good. Okay. Hey, welcome to Hicksville. How you doing today? My name's Anna, and let's get creeped out by playing some Hector, shall we? So, okay. This game is very much so an environmental, atmospheric horror, and it's kind of awesome because it lets my imagination do most of the work against me. And considering I have quite the overactive imagination, that's a smart tool to use against me. Anyway, um, last episode... Um... I... Oh! The audio jump scares, man! Ivy, you know, I was calm and fine, and then like the door noise, and then like the light bulb, and the. Yep, okay. Calm, cool, collected just went out the window. Why is. Things. Okay, things aren't wobbly yet. Yet. But anyway, as I was saying in the last episode, I did not see that note there. Um. Kane is looking over here. He always stares at me. I'm writing this note so I look busy. I don't want him to come over. He hurts me. Keep writing. Keep writing the note. Not that it matters anyway. I'm one of the only women in Hector, and Kane is a fucking animal. He comes into my dorm almost every night, and he touches me. I pretend to be asleep until he finishes. I pretend to be asleep until he leaves. And then I cry as quietly as possible, so he doesn't hear and come back. He gets angry when I'm awake. Oh, there's so many levels of wrong to that! Okay, I'm... Why do I hear a heartbeat? Okay, take the medicine. Tapping the three key over and over again, I'm left... left clicking. One does nothing, two I can't use because it's batteries. I never found the flashlight. Four is nothing. Three, are you kidding? I can't take my medicine still? I see the control of six. Ten. <sighs> Finally! I know I pressed the F key the last time I played and it did not do a thing. Because I literally went through and pressed every key on the keyboard. Anyway, now that I know how to take the medicine. Uh, I feel like an idiot. But, regardless, I'm pretty sure it was both my stupidity and a bug. So, cause, yeah. Anyway... I could be wrong, I could just be an idiot, but... Moving on. At least now I know how to take the medicine. So... And I also now know that there was a chick who had some seriously horrible thing happen to her. That explains why I hear her crying. Okay, this must be like the dorms. Wow. Talk about bare bones. This is like a prisoner cell. Except with a painting and a shelf. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna leave all these doors open. <laughs> I'll be screwed if I have to go running down the hallway. <laughs> uh. The ambience changed. This door not open is covered in cobwebs. Okay. Um. Like, there's no music all of a sudden, and all I hear is my heart beating in my ears. Not my actual heart, the, the character's heart, and that's kind of not cool. Oh man, this one, the bed's moved. I found a can of Campbell's. Uh, um, 
You know, I really wonder if I missed a flashlight, like, way back in, like, the beginning of the game. And... Okay, I think it was my own footsteps. And because I missed it, I'm not gonna get the flashlight. <laughs> like, I have to progress through the whole game without it. Oh, I have a feeling that's the case. That's probably the case. So, right, I'm hardcore. We'll just we'll push through this game like a boss, like a professional. Okay, some cracks on the concrete for a second. I, th I think that's the okay toilet. I found a toilet. Good, because when I inevitably poop my pants, it's good to know where the toilets are. You know, this chick, like, crying in my ears is just really slowly whittling away at what little, like, nerve I have. Uh... Okay, I'm starting to go a little nutty. But I think I can hold out a little bit. I don't want to just start chugging my, uh, sanity medication. Okay, now now is a good time then. Three and F key. F key, there it goes. For some reason I feel like I'm safer with this off right now. Oh, don't let there be anything there. Okay. This shift in ambience is just like, what? <laughs> okay. I've gone missing. The ten who signed the petition have gone missing. I feel like I'm one of them. I feel like something went hor horribly wrong in this whole petition signing thing. Um, and I kind of was the person, I think, that was behind the signing of the petition. I think I am Jackson. Um... And I feel like they tried to torture and experiment on us, and it went terribly wrong, and now we're like the living dead. Or you see, other people are gonna be like the living dead, because I know there is some sort of mummy-esque monster in this game, which, in some ways, knowing that it does lurk around somewhere, makes the whole thing more unnerving! Especially since I don't think it shows up extremely often. So, I have to deal with the anticipation? Okay. A anyway. There's that door I left open. We'll just come back around here, try to make our way out. Lean around every corner. I am just like, Whoa. The wor like The worst part is like, I know it probably won't be as terrible once I meet the monster for the first time and get that first encounter experience out of the way, I'll probably be a lot better. This looks a lot like that. I've been here. Or I've been in a- it's, it's another wing that looked exactly like this. I saw the splash of water and it freaked me out! <laughs> um... But yeah, like, I feel like as soon as I meet the monster for the first time, the first time I die to it, to assuming that it? happens... Um, I feel like things won't seem as bad, but then again, it could be absolutely horrifying and it'll make everything worse. But I feel like, you know, it's that whole, there was no light there before. Oh wait, this is totally not even the same hallway. Uh, what's going on? This is the one with the dead guy. Who I asked to stay dead. Stop Is this place being haunted? By that chick? I feel like it's being haunted by that chick. I'm gonna make lots of eye contact with you guys, which may end up getting me killed because I might not see the monster in time. Okay, the light bulb works now. So is this not the same hallway, but also the same hallway? I, I don't know. Either way, <laughs> I'm gonna make lots of eye contact with you guys because... You're a lot, lot nicer to look at then. Um, oh. Is this creepy place? There goes the bulb. Okay. 
I won't lie, I was also like stalling so bad. Oh, hey. Also, is it just me or does that guy kind of sound a little, little bit like, oops, uh, David Tennant from Doctor Who. Not that he's only done Doctor Who, it's just- Tonight, we'll meet at McGuinn's room. He has a plan. A plan? Who's McGuinn? And what is this plan? I, I don't like the sound of this plan. I feel like it went very wrong. Okay. We're good. You guys got my back, right? You see something you're gonna like point and yell at the screen and tell me? I hope. It's nice to know I'm not alone. Even though I technically am. Also, it's a beautiful... It's a beautiful spring day outside. It's the first 60 degree day. Uh, I don't like doors that look like this. But I'm gonna try to open it even though I feel like that's a bad idea. Okay, it didn't open. We're just gonna keep walking! Away from here! Ah, apparently I sing when I get nervous. I kind of noticed that. Um, surveillance! That's right, I was at surveillance! And I need to find a blank tape. Um... Something tells me this is not the same surveillance room, though. But I think that's a note right there. Is that a note I could take? That's a note. Okay. Take the note. It's confirmed. Jackson was murdered. Then why do I have his watch? Assuming I... The guy with the gold watch and Jackson are indeed the same person. I'm telling you, man, I am Jackson J. Willikers. And I made all the sheep happen. Oh. Again with just the heartbeat. Look at all the tapes. Full, 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 full. Everything is full. That's a very inefficient labeling system. If all you ever do is write full. Your bulbs. Oh, hey! An empty tape. I think it's time to take some, uh... Yeah, things are starting to very subtly wibble and a wobble like a weeble. When did I pick up an a doodle of an of a rat? Wait. Okay. Uh, um It's confirmed. No, no. How do Jackson How do I access murdered. the tape? I want, I want the tape. I want the tape. Or is this just like my inventory? Okay, we got noises again. Run, agent. Okay, I'll just keep walking because I feel like... Maybe I really do need to leave this area now, but at the same time I want to know. Okay, the bulb just died. I think that's a cue to leave. <laughs> All right, so I gotta somehow magically find my way. Prison bars. Can't open that door. I have to magically find my way back to that other surveillance room that needed a blank tape because I think that's what I found. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Start the fire, stop the water, start the fire. I get it, I'm gonna have to probably burn this whole facility down. Yeah, sort of guess. Um... Okay, it's just that door again. Door. Door, and I don't see anything. I really wish I had found that flashlight, because I feel like that would be very beneficial to my... Survival. Survival. My survival capability! Okay, we're in another version of this room again. McGuinn stole a gun. In three days, we're going to take the doctor hostage and escape. It's our only hope. I feel like this evil doctor guy did some things. And now we're all like, you know, lost wandering around this creepy building with some sort of undead monster human thing. That's very uncomfortable to think about. 
Okay, anyway. Why does that noise keep coming from this area? Like, what is right? I can't get into filing, I remember that. And over here is with the fake chair. Ooh. Cell block. Prisoners? I was too disoriented to be able to read anything last time. Okay, I can't walk through the chair now. It's suddenly real. Okay. Um. Oof. It's getting a little wobbly. Alright, there we go. That time the button responded a lot better. Um. I feel like I need to move my mic down a little bit. Don't want to accidentally pop my peas on the mic. Oh uh, boy. Intelligence, communications. Where was that room? I know it was off of one of these. Somewhere. <sighs> be brave, Anna. I'm gonna be brave for you guys. I'm gonna walk down this creepy hallway. Shelves. So, wear a mask, no smoking. Intelligence. Uh, I've never been in here before. I don't think. Man. More bathrooms. Good, good. Because, you know. Random shower, that's important. Toilet. I'm so anxious and on edge. I don't, just, I don't think I would say I'm so much scared right now as I'm just like, nothing has happened except for creepy bits of the story being revealed. So. Hello. Oh wait, can I open that? Or, wait, 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 I, okay, there it goes. It was a note. I can't go through with this this uprising. I have a bad feeling. I told them I quit. Um Your bad feeling was probably on point intuition and instinct. But something tells me that did not do you any good. I can't tell if I'm hearing things or if I hear like some sort of weird wailing. Oh sweet, batteries for that flashlight I don't have. Beautiful. What I would love though is a stockpile of medicine for my mental stability. Back to where I came from. I think I might be that, or it's hard to say in this game actually, because everything constantly changes. Oh, here's another one. This looks a lot like the room I literally just left, except that one has stairs. Okay, the door, which I think is safe to assume is probably locked. Down to just a heartbeat again. Maybe if I get lucky, I'll end up back to where I, like, near the beginning, and I'll find a flashlight. <laughs> How horrible would it be if there literally was only one flashlight in the entire game that you could find, and I walked past the thing, not knowing because I was too busy tripping from a uh, mental insanity. And if I see this monster, how am I supposed to, like, counteract him? Do I just... Turn my light off and walk the other way? I feel like maybe that's the case. Or I run. I probably turn my light off and run. I feel like he probably prefers the dark. I, I don't know, it's just a... Intuition! Speaking. Now the question is, who's the monster?
Those sounded like footsteps. But there's only a door there. B brick wall? Am I about to meet the monster? Oh, I don't want to meet the monster. Stop dropping the base, guys! This ain't a dubstep game! Oh, bananas. This is like a dead end. Is this seriously a dead end? What the fuck just happened? Oh man! Not lying, guys. Like, I have goosebumps. Huh? I'm still. I took the medicine. Stop freaking out. Why am I still freaking out? Okay, why am I still dis- Should I take another thing of it? Oh gosh, that's- One more. Uh, that didn't seem to work. Why am I still like- Crazy? Hello? Monster? Oh, this has to be like the hospital section. Stay dead. Please stay dead. That dude stay dead. That would be great, actually, if you did. Flashlight. A flashlight. I like... That sounded like a surveillance room. The surveillance room around the that the door I haven't tried opening yet. The right over there. I'm thinking it might be. It might be. Hang on. I just I must check all the lockers. I must check all the lockers. I must check all the lockers. Darn it! None of them have a flashlight. Okay. Check the door. Oh, it's a bathroom. With boots. Oh, I can't open it. I don't know what Okay, I can't open it. God, I'm gonna walk away now because curiosity would have gotten me there. These guys wanted to build a nightmare of atmosphere. They have done a good job. Or an atmosphere of nightmares, I should say. But why do you look like I should be able to interact with you, but I can't really do anything? Also, I'm glad to see my sanity has returned to normal. Ugh. Maybe I need something. I need to find like a crowbar. Okay, we'll just keep walking. I still haven't found the surveillance room again. Yep, alright, so, ooh, battery. Great. Uh, I like having batteries. I'm gonna have so many batteries! For if I ever find that flashlight that I'm gonna go most of the game probably without using. Oh. Uh, just a couple more minutes of gameplay and then you just go edit the video. The worst part is like, I was watching back my last video and just watching it freaked me out. Oh, 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 I found my way back. Surveillance is like just over there. The door off. Okay, awesome. Awesome, this will be a good spot to end the episode assuming I don't like die or something horrible. Even then, that'd be a great ending, hey. There we go. What the? Why did that come back? It took the right tape. Yeah, it took the tape. Stand by. Okay. Do I, do I need to press anything? You know, I used to do. I've worked live broadcast, so. Hi. So, this sort of thing actually looks kind of familiar. Oh, very old school. Um. The atmosphere, the music and everything has really changed. 
I don't know if I did something good or bad. Um, I can't interact with this anymore, so I guess I did what I had to do. It just got really dark. Can I open this door now? Nope. Ah. Alright. Well. I guess I'll end the episode here, because... I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do next. And, um... I'm good! My level of need to be freaked out today has been met. It's 60 degrees outside and... Almost sunny. So I'm gonna go enjoy, like, the nice weather. Now that, like, we have a day of it. So, <laughs> Yeah! Thanks for joining me for this episode of Hector. I hope you've enjoyed, and I hope you have an excellent day. Give yourself a hug for being awesome. And I hope to see you and all y'all in another video. Until then, later! Now I read somewhere on the, what is, I think, on the main menu in the achievement. Oh! Then you can't fight them! Coming. I just clicked off my <laughs> Stop! Get back in! Wait guys, I want it. Stop with the light bulbs! How horrible would it be that I get like jump scared or something and I'm just like Whoa! while I was doing my outro? Oh, you guys would see me like flying out of my seat screaming. It would be kind of awesome. But not.